Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. In today's video, we're going to be providing an update on Big Digital Assets. This is a crypto focused company based here in Canada. A lot going on with this one, super excited to talk about them. But before we do, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. We're almost at 43,000 subscribers. We'd love to have you as part of the community. And let me know in the comments section below if you're currently holding shares of Big Digital, what your thoughts are on the crypto space as a whole in 2024 and your outlook for this business. Now, with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, I wanted to provide an update on Big Digital Assets Incorporated. Trades here in Canada on the CSE under the ticker BIGG and on the OTC in the United States under the ticker BBKCF. Now this one's super interesting. This is a cryptocurrency focused company. They've got a number of different business units. We actually reviewed them on the channel about a year ago. I figured it was worth a brush up on this one as we're starting to see some more excitement and momentum in the broad cryptocurrency market overall. So we're gonna go through this business model in a little bit more detail, jump into the investor presentation and the corporate website, which I'll leave linked in the video description below. Now, a couple of things before we get into this, you guys, they just closed an $8 million round of financing. So they do have a bunch of cash on the balance sheet, about $30 million worth of cash and cash equivalents or crypto. And if we pull up a six month chart, you can see really following the Bitcoin price and the overall cryptocurrency price similar to a lot of the Bitcoin miners we cover on the channel. So we saw a peak of 40 cents back in December of last year, December 27th. We saw another peak of 35 cents in the middle of February. Now we have tapered off. However, there is fairly strong support for this company around the 13, 14, 15 cent range. We've tested that a few times. So definitely a great opportunity to get some exposure to the crypto economy or digital currency economy if you're looking for that in your portfolio. And probably worth noting in the last crypto or Bitcoin bull run, we actually saw shares trading hands as high as $5.05. And again, you guys, this company over $30 million worth of cash crypto on their balance sheet, primarily Bitcoin, which again is where we see a lot of the volume in the crypto market overall, especially in these bull runs. Now, because it's been a while since we've reviewed Big Digital on the channel, I wanted to start off with the company website, Compliance First Crypto. You can see they believe in the future of crypto being a safe, compliant, and regulated environment. And the goal of Big Digital Assets is to be part of that solution. Now, as we continue to scroll down, you can see they own and operate a variety of different businesses in the crypto economy. They also invest in a number of different crypto companies within that ecosystem. And in terms of their businesses, the three we're going to be focusing focusing on today is Netcoins, the Blockchain Intelligence Group, and Terra Zero, which is really pushing the boundaries of the metaverse and Web 3.0. Now, funny enough, that's a perfect segue to the updated investor presentation. You can see the two ticker symbols there, the three businesses that we're going to talk about in today's video. Again, Netcoins, Blockchain Intelligence Group, and Terra Zero, and some of their crypto related investments, including Zen Ledger, a variety of digital assets that they hold on their balance sheet, and Load, just to name a few. So first things first, Netcoins is an app that you've probably heard of, especially if you're based here in Canada. They've got 40 different tokens or coins, crypto assets on the platform, including all of the most popular stable coins, along with the Netcoins Pay MasterCard and staking ability. So this is a look at the app here. You can see the crypto trading platform itself, the Netcoins Pay MasterCard, which is really interesting. It actually gives you 1% Bitcoin back on everyday purchases. They've got crypto staking, so Ethereum staking with up to 4.2% APR. That's what we heard Sam Tabar talking about in that Bit Digital video, and of course, OTC trading. Now this is where it gets really interesting for Netcoins. So you can see they've got over $100 million Canadian in terms of assets under management, revenue in the neighborhood of about $500 to $1 million per month, about 220,000 total users. You can see in 2023, a total of 230,000 orders. And what's so exciting about this platform is the speed of growth that they're actually seeing. So you can see 18 states in which they operate listed here. However, on March 13th, 
through their partnership with ZeroHash, which is a global leading crypto infrastructure provider, has now unlocked crypto trading in 48 US states, further propelling the growth of this company. So really servicing the entire North American market at this point in time. 63% increase in users over the last six months. Obviously that has a lot to do with the optimism in the crypto market itself. And in terms of the trading volume, that's up 41% in that same six month period. Now, obviously there's a number of players in this space, but when you really take a hard look at the metrics here, you guys, Netcoins actually stacks up very nicely, especially with the addition of that 1% back Bitcoin, a MasterCard or PayCard. So one of the largest offerings of coins among any of the crypto exchanges, Plus they've got the e-transfer and wire funding capabilities along with new staking opportunities that are coming soon. Now in terms of 2024, some of the highlights are new funding options coming, OTC and corporate sales growth, they've got the Lightning Network nodes, 10 year anniversary of Netcoin and a web channel launch in the United States. So definitely one to keep an eye on, again, if you're looking for exposure to this space. Now the next business or division I wanted to talk about is Blockchain Intelligence Group. This is another one that we looked at in our initial coverage of Big Digital. You'll notice the initials or the acronym BIG, Blockchain Intelligence Group giving big the name. This is a cryptocurrency investigations and risk management business that harnesses their flagship software called Clue to help in things like court cases and recover digital assets using blockchain analytics. Now you can see this is currently being used by law enforcement agents around the world. And they've actually set out or made it their mission to become the number one crypto investigation company worldwide. So you can see Clue on the left here focused on detecting suspicious crypto activity, tracking, tracing, and monitoring transactions. So BitRank Verified is the front end tool that's actually powered by the Clue data. And this is where you can get queries, generate due diligence reports, and come up with crypto score ranking for various different individuals and operators. So it's worth noting that Blockchain Intelligence Group has already partnered with government agencies and law enforcement officials around the world, and they're now actually recognized by the US government and used by top law enforcement agents and many of the Fortune 500 companies that we talk about on this channel. Now along with this, they've actually put together a course as well. So the CCI course or Certified Cryptocurrency Investigator course, which has now had over 2,500 successful student completions and is just another example of how big digital assets through blockchain intelligence group is making a difference in the cryptocurrency world. Now Terra Zero is the last business we're gonna cover in today's presentation. As you can see here, the next dimension of virtual engagement, essentially building their own metaverse. And what's super interesting about this business is they've already attracted attention from many top brands, including Estee Lauder, Warren Records, including Jason Derulo and Teddy Swims, Salesforce, Fidelity International, and more that you see up on the screen here. Really looking to redefine the way people work, play and live or interact with each other in today's society. So these are actually some pictures that they've done within the Terra Zero Introverse for Netcoins specifically. So you can see a variety of different images, including this Netcoins Hangout, which is super cool and inviting you guys some of the best metaverse visuals and images that I've seen to date and describing themselves as a cutting edge SaaS or service as a software company that facilitates the creation of a fully immersive 3D virtual experience as you can see here, which connects the entire omni-channel strategy for these brands into one monetizable and interactive environment. So you can see Terra Zero is really positioning the introverse as the next social media platform, allowing individuals or consumers to interact in a whole new way that wasn't possible on the previous social media platforms. So for those reasons, you guys, I definitely think big digital assets is worth a closer look. They just closed that $8 million financing. They're flush with cash over $30 million on their balance sheet right now, currently trading under 20 cents Canadian. They've got a diversified business model, a variety of different businesses, all centered around the crypto economy or cryptocurrency and digital frontier plus a number of investments in this space. Now I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts on big digital assets in the comment section below, specifically if you're already holding shares of this company. If you're still watching the video, make sure you hit the like button you guys. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to join. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video and have a great day.